Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Huntington, New York, as the Long Island Frauditor attempts to gain access into the local city hall because, well, he heard complaints that they were wanting to see people's ID before they entered the building. Oh, boy, uh, Sean, I wonder how many times you've uh, had to show your ID when you get into a government building. I mean, don't act as if this is the first time this has ever happened to you. I mean, plenty of government buildings do this for security reasons, but you still have to whine, cry, and complain, you dumbass. And in this particular case, he still doesn't gain full access to the building because he's a complete dumbass. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I've gotten a few emails regarding the town hall here in Huntington saying that their policies here are very strict. So let's find out. Let's get into it. All persons and packages are subject to search upon entry to a town hall. Failure to consent or submit to an inspection will result in denial of entry. So you have to be searched to enter town hall. Well, gee, Sean, if you have nothing to hide inside of your package, then you should have no problem opening it to let them know that there's nothing dangerous inside. Because, you know, some people in the past, like, oh, this guy, Ted Zizinski, oh, you remember what he did don't you? And there's nothing unreasonable about showing your government-issued ID so you can get some services in the building. I mean, that's pretty much everywhere, you douchebag. Interesting. Hey, how are you? Uh, nothing. Just decided to take a look at your uh, town hall here. Oh, sorry about that. No, I'm just uh, taking a look at your town hall. That's all. I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. Oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> okay, we just need a driver's license and we'll check in. Yeah, I don't have a driver's license. Why would you need a driver's license for me to come into a building? A pub a, 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 this is a public building, right? Well, we do it by appointment only. Anything happens in the building? A fire? Yeah. Would it would an account would an account of who's in the building help with that fire? Uh, what was that, Sean? Account? Uh, Sean? Uh, tell me you're not that fucking stupid, Sean. Tell me you're not that damn stupid. Account versus well, actually having the ability to identify each and every person that went in there. Prior to the fire? Yeah, Sean, I don't think that your simplistic method in this particular scenario would be beneficial to an after-action report as far as a fire goes because, well, they need to know that information. That way they can contact or attempt to contact the uh, next of kin just in case somebody is unaccounted for. So that way they have that information. I mean, Sean, do you even think of these things to their logical conclusion? I mean, come on now. You need to have a bit more intelligence than that. That's what, that's what yeah, but just counting people as far as, you know, we don't do it like you know how many people are upset that, they, that they're Everyone requiring? Is different. We don't do it like that. Yeah. No, I'm just saying that you don't need a, you don't, it doesn't make sense because you don't need a, uh, you don't need a license to vote or do anything like that, but to be... Excuse me, Sean? You don't need an ID to vote? Uh, Sean, every time I vote, I have to show my ID in the area I live in. That way, you don't go in and vote multiple times. And I've been a registered voter for at least 25 years, and you know what? Yeah, I've always had to show my ID no matter where I lived. Yeah, so you need a license to enter this building. What if what if somebody didn't have what if not everybody has a license, sir? So what would happen if somebody didn't have a license? I'm sorry. 
What if they didn't have any of that? Then they wouldn't be able to come in. So you can't, if you don't have any, if you don't have government ID, you can't come into this building. No. That's what you're telling me? No. Oh, okay. Can I speak to a supervisor? He's on his way. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. This, this is a, this isn't a restrict, this isn't. What notice? I don't understand what you're saying. The, are you referring to this notice right here? Yeah. The one, the one that says that I need a mask? Where is there, where is there a sign saying that? Where? Employees only beyond this point. Where? I don't see it. Can you show it to me? I don't see it, please. That's all I'm asking you. Stay right over here. This I'm is at, the area for our people that have ever been checked in. Okay, I'm just, I'm in the, this is the public lobby, sir. So I'm not gonna. This is the public lobby right here. There is no, si this look, is there's the a sign over there right? saying employees yep. only behind yep. that point yep. over there. See, photo show ID right there. Beyond that point, do you see the sign over there, sir? Where it says that you can't be you behind that point? Over here on this side, sir. sir, I'm just, all I'm doing is you gathering content from my story. That's all I'm doing. I'm not going in any restricted areas. This is this a public side. building. This side right here, sir. Sir, this is a public building, sir. What? This is a lobby to a public building. Sean, your uh, stupidity has given me one massive headache. So I'm just going to make this video a lot shorter by skipping ahead to when the manager shows up. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. 15 minutes later. Excuse me, sir. Yes. See, we're, we're, we're trying to be nice and cordial. Yeah. We're uh, I, I believe I am. I believe I am too, ma'am. You are in, you're, you're, you're moving. I'm, Pass, what I'm doing is I'm gathering. I'm, I'm gathering content. There is no restricted area sign here, ma'am. There is no. Sir, who, who are you? I'm the supervisor, Jack Tata Nudge for April Fool. What, what was your name? Tata Nudge. I, I didn't get that, sorry. Tata Nudge? Okay. Yeah. No, it's Polish, so it's hard to pronounce. Okay, yeah. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing well. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, You're the supervisor here? Yes, for the April Fool shift during the day. Okay, great. So. Uh, was there any conflicts? I know she was. Um, no, I don't. I don't think. I don't think. I don't have any conflicts with anybody here. Okay. I just there is. I'm in the. I'm an independent journalist. Okay. Gathering content for a story. Okay. Looking at all your signs here. You know, just gathering content peacefully for my story. Exercising my First Amendment right of okay. freedom of press. Yes. Um, they had informed me that I need a government ID to enter this building. Yes. Unfortunately, that's the policy set in place by the supervisor's office. Yeah. The town attorney. It's an unconstitutional policy because if you need, what if somebody didn't have the money or the means to obtain a government ID? Oh, come on now, Sean. Let me show you a little bit of information I found very easily. This is off of the uh, New York DMV website itself. Take a look at this chart right here. Look at these non-driver's license government IDs. You see how cheap they are? I bet you that 99.99% of the people in this country can at least afford this. I mean, come on now, Sean. Why don't you try actually doing your research, looking this stuff up? Because, well, it kind of makes you look like a complete imbecile when this kind of information is freely available online. I mean, this pretty much pulls the rug out from underneath, underneath your argument right there, dude. So you give it up to the rest. Try something else. I mean, you're just really pathetic at this, aren't you? They couldn't They couldn't have public services. You understand what I'm saying? The, the same way that they're trying, the same way that, the, that everybody makes a big deal about needing an ID to vote, because then you're, you know, you're excluding certain people who don't have the means or the money to obtain an ID. That's their argument anyway. So this is a public building that has public services that are offered to the public. So if you're requiring an ID, you're excluding a group of people from entering this ID. Well, we're not excluding anybody. Yeah. We ask for the ID. Yeah. If you're here without an ID, and yeah. you have a specific place you're going, yeah. we always can ask the department in that particular if they're allowing that to happen. Okay. So if you don't have it on you and we're going to go somewhere, and you can ask, it's up to the discretion of the department. Okay. I'm going off the policies and procedures that are in place. Okay. That we usually have the ID as the means of entry into the building. Yeah. That's unconstitutional, sir. Just, I know it's not your policy. I know you're just... Uh, Sean, I know you've gone through this before. I know you use the courts quite a bit. So you yourself should know that you can't declare something unconstitutional. You can't do that. It is the courts that declare something unconstitutional. And if it was unconstitutional, 
then they would know about it by now because it would be all over the freaking news about that and it would stop immediately. Uh, so, yeah, lame argument once again, Sean. So, please try again. Now, I'm just going to end the video right here because for the next 15 minutes, he just uh, talks about a FOIA request that he wants to do to gain access to all the policies that he thinks are unconstitutional. Now, in addition, he claims that he was able to get past the uh, desk and film the, in the public areas. But this little bit of footage he shows right here is all of what he took. Now, if that's true, then he should be able to show the entire thing. But no, it's just this one little clip. So, Sean, uh, if you're really telling the truth... You might want to include the entire thing on your video rather than providing a clip of it. That way, we know you're not lying your ass off like per usual. Simply because uh, the amount of effort they were using to keep you out of that area does suggest to me that, well, they weren't going to give up. And, uh, well, yeah, like I said... You might be lying your ass off. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?